I think G Dog's leaving. I'm not sure. Hey, G Dog, are you. Do you have to go, dude? He's looking at his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> jumping jacks, jumping jacks, jumping, jumping, jumping jacks. <laughs> So like we're doing some weird ritual thing. Though. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Wait, what? It's like we're doing some weird ritual thing. That's kind of creepy, dude. <laughs> we're just like doing jumping jacks in place while we're both just staring at G Dog, and we're both doing jumping jacks in at the same exact time. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Dude. All right, you ready to go in here? Uh, how do we? Get out of here. No! <laughs> oh, it's getting close. Alright, there we go. Oh! <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a versus kind of oh. thing in here. It's actually a loading screen. They actually have these in, these ga in this game. Agent. Looks like the power grid is a lot more stable. Thanks to you, we're back in business. Rhodes is already on his way back in, oh, so no need to give him an escort. I'll see you when you get here. A civilian need... He's... Ooh, yeah! Here you go! Boom! Oh, wait, what do you get? Oh! Thank you for the shoes. So apparently, if you help people, they give you, a, like, cosmetic stuff. Sweet, dude. Alright. Wow. Okay, I got a lot of good stuff, man. I need, a, like, a better pistol or something. I have a Magnum, but it doesn't seem to be better than the M9, so I just kept the M9, and I'm level 7! Just like mm. you guys. <laughs> so, G-Dog, do you have to go, man? It would be really... it would stink if you leave, man. I got, I got a message from him. Yeah, that was fun, man. And, yeah. Uh, G-Dog has to go? Yeah, he's gotta go, man. Alright, well, this has been a lot of fun, G-Dog. Maybe we can do it again soon. Yeah. As long as the beta actually still exists, you know. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna be on tomorrow since you know tomorrow's Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Who knows? Maybe though. we can all get the actual full game when it's released and do this again. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Thanks for uh, playing with us, G Dog, and thanks for being cool with being on a stream. <laughs> It yeah, man. Fun. Yeah, we got a lot of hilarious moments, that's for sure. <laughs> Pulse. Parlay. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this game is great, man. I really like this. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, G-Doc. Yeah, thank you for joining, man. What's fun? Was so. Uh... <laughs> We're just like all standing here, just sitting here, just awkward. So we have to talk to someone at the base. I really like the map, like the world map. Yeah. I like how it's all like three D. Yeah, and it's like, you can still see your guy, you know? It's like, he it just appears on the ground, you know? Yeah. Alert. Alert. An agent is now leaving your team. No. Uh, Alright, all right. Well, Thanks for joining us, G-Dog. See you, G-Dog. So I think Jacob and I may still stream for a little bit longer. What do you think, Jacob? Want to stream for a little bit longer? Yeah, we'll do a little bit more, I guess. Maybe do one more mission, and then maybe call out a night. Or at least, or maybe call out a stream, rather. Hey, call it a stream, yeah.
Alright, yeah, we've been streaming for almost two hours now, so I think one more mission and that'd be good. Yeah, alright. Alright. So, should we fast travel to the base really quick? Um. Base of operations? Because there's a reward that we can get. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's fast travel. Oh, wait, website in. Wait, how do I fast travel there? Before oh, yeah, the outbreak, the division was a secret government agency with embedded sleeper agents across the nation. Operation Dark Winter was the code name for an exercise by senior members of the U.S. government to simulate the effects of a large-scale bioterror attack. Once discovered, areas that contain crafting materials will be marked on your map. You can revisit Wait, these areas I... every two hours to scavenge crafting materials. How do I fast travel? Uh, you mount, or you, uh, high, or, you know, you go over the base of operations and you press square and then press X to confirm it. Square? Oh, yeah. and then X. Yeah. Huh. It takes a while to All load, right. though, so I'm just saying. Alright, there we go. I yeah. just now finished. Right, looks like we need to talk to Paul Rhodes in the next mission. Oh, and it's probably right where we were now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. He's at the base of operations. Okay. Yeah. Good. This is so cool, like, I can see your little circle moving. Sick, dude. Medical wing, 10% operational. Dude, I really like this game. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this game is great. And it's like, I can't really think of a game that's quite like it, you know? I mean, there are other RPGs, there are other third-person third shooters, you know? But, and there are other survival games. But I don't know if there's actually been a game that's been quite like The Divisions yet, you know? It's really yeah. unique from my experience. Ooh, there's a snowstorm going on. Oh, seriously? Yeah, come man, out I, here, I'm man. I'm gonna run outside really quick and check it out, dude. I wanna see the snowstorm. Like, you barely can see anything, man. Should make this, this last like, mission I... extra interesting, I guess. Like, watch this, man. Oh, yeah, dude. Look that's this, awesome. Man. I like the snowstorm. I actually kind of prefer it with the snowstorm, to be honest. Yeah, it's I don't really know. Like, like it's all really about awesome, atmosphere, man. you know. The winter, like <laughs> the the winter storm, just makes it feel more, you know, just more atmospheric, I guess you could say. Yeah. All right. So, if I have the money when this game is released, I would totally want to get this. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, man. Definitely not for kids, though. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, kids don't, don't let your play kids this be playing game. this if <laughs> parents, seriously. Honestly, don't let your kids play rated M games. Wait until they're older. <laughs> well, I'll be right back. I don't do sentimental. All right. But you got me out of a jam there, so thanks. You're I know you want roots. more from me than just warm fuzzies for saving my sorry. Well, I get this but, bar. Yeah. I'm government standard, I see. Nice to see they're still keeping the bar low enough that even roaches can walk right over it. You want quality? You go private. That's what I learned in Basra. Basra? Oh, yeah. Hmm. See, you can't just live on farts and good intentions. Power, water, all the bells and whistles. Not that you're the first one to try it. I hear a bunch of you people went missing when they hit the fan. Got some theories about that myself. My point is, when you're Seems out like there you're hooking up the city, quite the conspiracy theorist, Dave Paul Rhodes. It. See what you can find out. Maybe the virus Perhaps. got him. I don't know, you just sound Maybe like the roots one. got him. Maybe the city opened up its rotten core and swallowed him whole. I'd believe that. It's happened before. But you got a nice beard, so. The city got That's my awesome. wife. Miracle, I'm still here, really. You know, they say a pessimist is a disillusioned romantic. Well, whoever said that's a f <laughs> Go on. See what you can find Come out. Come on, dude. I'll let you know what you talk up. You can talk about Everybody's even City doesn't you do need know you that's too. possible, right? <laughs> All right. So let's see. Unlock the tech wing. Let's go do that. Each wing has ten upgrades. The tech wing requires tech wing supplies for each upgrade you want to build. Tech wing supplies can be gathered by completing tech missions and tech encounters. Each upgrade built contributes to the progress percentage of the wing. Each upgrade built unlocks the skills, skill mods, or talents. We already know that. Each upgrade built will award one or more perks. All perks are listed in the abilities menu in the perks tab. We know that as well. Let's build the first upgrade. All right. 
Let's build it. New abilities unlocked. Control room. We unlocked a new skill and a new perk. Yes, I know that. The skill is turret. Deploys a stationary turret that attacks nearby hostiles until it is destroyed or its battery runs out. And the perk is inventory. Increase inventory by 10 slots. Okay, nice. Thank you for playing Tom Clancy's The Division Beta. Congratulations, there is still more to do. There are no additional main story missions currently available in the beta, but New York is full of activities and secrets to discover, especially in the Dark Zone. You will find the greatest challenges, the best gear, and plenty of other players inside the Dark Zone. Just head east. We'll see you on the inside. Alright guys, well, I think Jacob's still gone, but time. that is... Now we got a proper control room. To monitor the infrastructure, heat, water, electricity. Good call, Agent. Alright, so that is the last main story mission for the beta, it seems, but I guess Jacob and I will just sort of maybe try to find some side mission or something to do and then we'll call it a stream. And we might, I'm not sure entirely, but we might be back on tomorrow and stream maybe a little bit more of the division. Maybe do some more side missions and stuff. I mean, this game seems like one of those games that would be fun to just sort of run around and, you know, free roam, you know? It's kind of cool, if you ask me.